Right, so I'm back and I really want to talk about this banner because I saw like leaks at first from like Nagato and I I think it was just Nagato I only saw from Nagato. I knew that like uh, a 7% scenes banner was gonna drop soon but the thing is that JP had the same kind of banner whereby it's like 7% scenes but there were commandments as well. But obviously since Global doesn't have that many commandments right now, there isn't a commandment banner. There's only a sins banner. And the thing w was that on JP, it was 7% as well. But we were getting like, it, like in the SSR pool, we were getting like one variant of like the coin shop character. Example like, there's like blue king, green king, right? And then there's like, uh, blue, there's, there's, sorry, there's, Red SSR coin shop gopher and then there will be like another gopher like blue gopher or something I can't really remember but the second variation of the coin shop unit would be garbage same thing same thing with like uh uh DN I think I think there was like green DN or something uh aside from blue DN blue coin shop DN but the thing is that the pool is actually really good for this for the global 7% SSR banner because if you take a look right through the SSR pool, you don't actually see like a bad character. Like the like that's green Eskinor, green Merlin. Obviously amazing. Red Merlin is pretty good. Her out gives are uh, alright. Uh Red Gopher obviously, Blue King obviously really good, top tier unit. Green King You don't really need dupes for him so he's kinda like a miss. If you get an SSR and you pull him, he's kinda of a miss. And I know that since uh, a lot of people actually, there, there's a fair chunk of people who actually skip Green Nunchuck Man like myself. I, I didn't summon for him so I do not actually have him. So it will be decent if I pull him. And then Blue DN is alright, decent but nobody really uses her as of now. But she's not too bad. Blue Demon Meliodas obviously if you do not already have him is really good. Um, and Red Demon Meliodas, you don't really need dupes but some people probably skip the banner and then <laughs> I mean if you do not have him ready then he'll be pretty good to uh, pick up but the reason the reason the, the, the biggest reason to summon on this banner would obviously be Eskinor, Green Merlin, Gopher, Blue King and yeah that's about it but the thing is that there are characters like Blue Demon Meliodas and like Alright, probably just Bloom Demon Meliodas because we are talking about characters that you actually use in um, in a PvP team, right? Blue Demon Meliodas obviously he is still like somewhat meta in uh, JP, like he's still very very usable, very very viable. So obviously like that's Super Awakening if you guys do not know what Super Awakening is, it's only in JP currently because uh, obviously Global is still sort of new even though it's like 4 months in the game or something but Global is still kinda new and we do not we are not like advanced enough uh, yet to have Super Awakening so we do not have it on Global yet but basically what Super Awakening is is that you get like uh, dupe levels on your character and every dupe level until dupe level 4 out of 6 unlocks an extra star for your character so example your character is 1 out of 6, you can do your regular 6 stars, in terms of awakening your character you can do your regular 6 stars, and if your character is 1 6, you can get a 7 star, and it goes all the way until 4 stars currently in JP right now. They are probably going to roll it out to make it uh, 6 stars, but right now it stops at 4, 4 out of 6, which means that you can get a maximum of 10 stars, and these stars are like the regular awakening stars the re they are like the first 6 stars basically they just give you more stats which I mean more stats is important obviously because like it, it, it's the same thing as like awakening your character from 1 star to 6 star it's just 6 to 10 the amount of like difference it makes when you super awaken a character is still like a pretty large margin that's why obviously you, do, you, you want to have like you obviously you want to have uh, dupe levels for these characters that you see yourself using in the future. That is why it's like really good to have dupe levels on these characters. Even though like characters like Demon Meliodas, like 
Blue Demon Meliodas doesn't need any out dupes. The only reason you need out dupes is for Super Awakening, which is gonna come out in the future. But since we know how like fast Global is pacing ourselves, uh, themselves, we we can kind of anticipate it like slightly earlier than how than when JP got it. So if you think about it, it's not really that far away. Maybe like three months. Like yeah, you, you get my drift. But aside from that, right? Super Awakening. How it works is that obviously like uh, I was. I was talking about how dupe levels gives you like more stars to awaken but the way you awaken them isn't by using like uh, you, you, the way you awaken them isn't by using chalices or like or like those materials you get from like free stages you actually use dupe coins uh, SSR dupe coins SSR dupe coins I believe they give 227 uh, 225 points I believe and then SR coins individually give 15 points and rare coins give 1 point each. How it works is that, like, okay, so you do not ever use rare coins because it's equivalent to using, like, think, think about it this way. You use one SSR coin, you get 225 points. You are trading either one, one SSR coin or 225 rare coins which equals to 225 stamina pots so you do not ever want to use rare coins because it's very not worth it so you either use SSR coins or SR coins and since this banner is 7% there's a you are gonna pull like a lot more SSRs than a regular 3% banner obviously because it's like more than double the SSR rate so yeah even if you do not get like even if you get like some useless dupe that you do not want like I don't know like I mean the dupes here aren't bad but I mean if you do not want green king dupes you do not want merlin dupes straight merlin dupes then yeah I guess you can use that as uh prep for your super awakening so yeah as you can see I only have 68 diamonds so I only can afford 2 mouthies so yeah it's, it's not gonna be a long summoning video so this is why I'm just gonna slap my summons into this video so I'm actually, I, I'm kind of traumatized by my JP summons because we had a 7% banner as well. And like, I saw Nagato's video and he was complaining about putting like 2 SSRs per multi. I put 2 SSRs in 7 multis on a 7%. <laughs> Please. Okay, we, at, we are at least getting 1 SSR. This is like <laughs> already better than my, this is already better than my JP summons. Please give me like two per multi at least. I uh, I'll take two per multi. I'll take four. Each. Four is just in two multi. I wouldn't mind a green nunchuck oh, once because I do not have him yet, and I kind of want him for collection. Ideally, I want. Ideally, I want blue king duke, gopher duke, escanor duke, and Merlin. one. Let's. That's an SSR, but it's still kind of bad for 7% banner. Hopefully one of these fake out. Hopefully one of the SSRs fake out. Cause one SSR for a multi isn't that great honestly for 7% banner. Please, please, fake out, fake out. No fake out. Hopefully it's Eskino. I mean, I mean, it's fine. I honestly, I do not really use like Blue Demon Melly at all right now, but I, I guess I'll, I'll take it for the Super Awakening. That, that's what I was saying. I was talking about Super Awakening and then I, I pulled him. <laughs> I mean, he isn't. Uh, it's not the worst, but I would rather pull like an Astronaut. Sword? I flash? Can I? Please, please, please. Another one? Uh, please man. I kinda got shafted in the AOC battle, if you haven't seen that, like, just go and watch it. <laughs> okay, nice, SSR. I mean, it's to be expected from a 7% battle. Just give me like 2 or 3, please. It's not that crazy. 2 or 3. 1. I mean, to be fair, it's still better than <laughs> JV. Like, summons, but I mean, like you can't really get much worse than my JP summons. I got 
seven. I I got two SSRs in seven multi. In seven percent. Oh my god. I should have at least gotten ten SSRs at least. But I got two. I was so that's why I kind of dropped JC a little bit because I got really tilted off that. <laughs> oh my god. Please just give me like a Escanor. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, okay, okay, this is Green Merlin. I'll take it. I would have rather taken a Blue King or a Gopher because, or, Merl or, or an Escanor because my Merlin... My Merlin only needed one more level for 6-6. Six, six. I think she's 6-6 six, six right now. But yeah, I would have taken another... I would, I would have taken King, Gopher or Escanor because they are like 3 or 4-6. Like all of them. So yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, there is, I, I would summon more if I could. Because this is like a really good banner, honestly. There, there aren't really huge misses. The only misses are like Green King and Red Merlin. Aside from that, it's pretty good. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably gonna be like the Super super, super Boss Hawk. I don't know what is it called. Like the, the Hawk Raid. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably gonna be the next one. Okay, see you guys.